Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Bake Bread with Becca, where I show you how to make different types of bread. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for apple cider bread. I figured this would be a good recipe to do today because I've been seeing apple cider out of the stores now and apples are in season and I just wanted to do another like festive fall recipe so we're doing apple cider bread today and like all of my recipes this is 100% vegan so let's get started. The night before you make your bread make the starter in a container with a lid. Add the warm water and the yeast. Let hydrate for a few minutes. Add the rye flour and the bread flour. Mix well and screw the lid on loosely. This is what your starter will look like. Leave on the counter overnight for up to 24 hours. Here's what my starter looks like after 20 hours. Fill the apple and cut into a medium dice, about half inch cube pieces. Place the apples in a small bowl and coat with the lemon juice to prevent browning. Over low heat, warm the apple cider to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the warm apple cider to a medium sized bowl. Add the yeast and let sit for a few minutes. Add the flour. The starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose. Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way. I think I figured that them figures the apples. To catch. Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say. I think it's difficult to get out and of the my song. Brain. I wish life went any other way. 
Mix with a rubber spatula or bench scraper until the dough starts to come together. A hot frigid when it sits inside that cold air that exists between our lack to say. But I always want to spend my time with you, even when I'm walking, got no change. You still sticking here with me. Yeah, you still sticking here with me. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm broke. Oh, wait. It's um, the second verse, right? I think it goes like, I've been stuck inside this pocket of debt. Empty walls and stress. Gotta stop smoking this set. On a floured surface, knead the dough for eight minutes. Flour the dough as needed to prevent it from sticking. I ain't a man of my own. I'm 26 and at home. I ain't grown. I've been wasting my way to progress. But at least I got your love on my back. You said he making me laugh. For that, I gotta thank the Lord above us. Cause you make me smile when my world look gray. You make me laugh when my sun is blue. I was low pockets in these words I make. And yeah, I'm a scrub, but at least I got you. Yeah, at least I got you. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money, you've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Oil a large I'm a scrub, bowl. But you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money, you've been there when the times get ugly. And I just wanted to say thank you. Place the dough in the bowl, cover, and ferment at room temp for 45 minutes. Press the dough down with your fingers and then fold the dough over itself. Turn the dough over and ferment for another 45 minutes. On a floured surface, flatten the dough slightly. Roll the dough up, sealing it with your thumbs as you go. Roll the dough on the counter a few times to help seal it. Just slightly tuck the ends under to give the dough a more rounded shape. Place the dough on a lined sheet tray and make sure it is well floured. Cover with a clean kitchen towel and proof for 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 475 Fahrenheit. When the bread is done proofing, score by making multiple diagonal lines going across the dough from each direction. Bake for 10 minutes at 475 and then lower the temp to 425 and bake for another 25 minutes.
All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more recipes on how to make different types of bread. As well, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter as at breadwithbecca, and I'll see you all again soon with another video.